What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the Carson Max's channel. And well today I'm going to be doing a more in-depth video on my Honda 4518. So in this video I will be going over some of the statistics of it, all the braking and stuff, where the transmission is located, how to check your oil, and some other stuff like that. Just the pretty simple basics. So, here we go. So, can open up our hood here. Mine's missing the bracket that stops from going all the way down. But, so, up here, we have our coolant reserve tank right there. We have our radiator, which leaks, or used to leak, so we had to put that gnarly patch on there. There's where your muffler is. So your two spark plugs, super easy to access. And right here you got your little coupler. Uh, the wrong kind of battery for it, but it works. Can open this up here. See a little bit inside the engine there. And now uh, you can just, if I can just screw it back in. Um, mine does leak oil though. I don't know where it leaks oil from. I just know it leaks. Oh, yeah. So, right down in there is the clutch. You can see it moving. The pads coming out and stuff. So, it, uh, it is electronic ignition, as you can see. Um, I do not believe that it is power steering, but it could be. So, it's for you. Add your coolant into the radiator on its own. Yeah, let me just screw that cap back on there. Alrighty, so right here is your carburetor. There's usually a little hose that goes down to there. So it just takes the direct intake. Radiator hoses. I think it's probably leaking oil out of this area, like right there. Like as you can see that seam. I'm not sure. So your dipstick on this tractor is located right around there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. You probably can't. I don't have a... Actually, I do have a flashlight out here. Oh, well, but I gotta find it. Right here. There we go. Flashlight. So now you guys can see it right there. And we can just take this. Pull it out and you can see oils in actual pretty good condition. What I gotta do is get it back in the hole. Push it down in there. So right here is your governor linkage. That's your governor. So right about up here is your throttle. You can see you're moving the springs and stuff down there. And and walk over here. I do need a new seat. So, just move this like right there. And I'll close the hood and show you the view that you get from being up there. Almost just fell. We can come right on up here. You can take a seat. And this is the view. So, we can turn on the lights on the dash, my parking brake. Of course, the fuel light's not going to be on. It doesn't need to be your throttle, choke, full throttle, and then lower throttle. Then your PTO. Um, let me move this stuff here. And let me grab my light and I'll show you guys underneath it. That's my low tire, too. So. Alrighty, so we look, as we look under here, some weeds, stuff, like that, so, we can, I gotta take my hat off, my hood up, there we go. Now you guys can see, like, there's the oil pan, and there's oil. Hoods leaking out of that bearing back there. Like 
that doesn't explain why the oil is dripping up there. Anywho, so it is a shaft driven tractor. Another cool feature. <sighs> Oof, crawling under the sink. It's not the most fun thing in the world. Oh, you guys can't even see that, but. Oof, I, I can't reach it. Gonna check your hands. Okay, go ahead. You actually get that. Right. So, right there, that metal line you're looking at is the fuel line. There's braking parts. So there's the up view seat. So in here there's a lot of cotter pins. It's a pretty heavy duty transmission. Uh, yeah. So it does work very nice. It cruises along with wires and stuff. There's that dry shaft. I better look at it. And then we can look up there. The oil pan. Steering components are over there. Up there. That's because probably see my breath because it's cold in here. There's the steering plate. I don't know what that white box is that's up by the steering plate, though. That's kind of puzzled me ever since I've gotten the thing. But I do need to grease this thing, but I don't have a grease gun. And my mom's dead. So you can see there's the coupling for the drive shaft. Um, it'd be nice if this thing had a PTO, but it doesn't. I don't know what that is right there. That's where the floor panel is. It's right, right there. It's the floor. We can just. Oof! I gotta get out of this place for a minute. Sorry about the rotating camera. All right. Gonna slide my happy butt out from underneath here. All right. And we're out. Ah. So. You have your e-brake, your parking brake, your forwards, fast, kind of middle, kinda neutral, reverse. My hat. Put that back on. And up here is your PTO, and then your foot brake. Headlight switch, they both do work. Now we can lift up our seat. Hey, we were just looking right down there. Let me grab the let me grab the light here. Look familiar? There's the drive shaft and stuff. We were just down there. Looking up here. Yep, there's that shiny plate that we had, so. So, this, the weight restriction on this tractor has been bypassed by, they just opened it up and stuck a wire in there, unplugged it, I think I know why, because it's pretty well destroyed up there. Hydrostatic fluid check is also back here, it's good. I can't see any fluid down in there. There's trans fluid in there. And then right here is the disengage type stuff. The what well, was the deck linkage. I never had got the deck for it. And then your fuel tank is back under here. Look that up so I can open this easier. See, there is gas in it. So, that's going to be, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. This is my third video I'm uploading today. There's probably going to be one or two more. Two more. Alrighty then. I will see you guys in the next one. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.